Hello, this is D, and I'm back with another video. Well, the AMD processor Ryzen launched yesterday, and a lot of reviews came out. Now, a lot of people are saying that Intel is paying the media for bias against the Ryzen CPUs. Now, I saw a lot of the um, reviews yesterday, and some of the sites, they're using different test met methodologies. Some of them are actually turning off multi-threading, and they're actually getting higher results. Um, some are complaining about their motherboards, which would suggest that a new BIOS is needed for the memory and for the R7 CPUs. And, uh, uh, you know, it's and it's also a little bit of a rush launch, clearly, because, you know, things are not so smooth. Now, yesterday, um, I saw a, a review from Joker. Now, he was using a Gigabyte motherboard, and it seemed to be working better than everybody else. He had much higher results, much closer results, and he was able to get his RAM higher, and therefore, his scores were completely different than everybody else's. Now, I looked and saw some other reviewers that used the same Gigabyte motherboard that he used, and their their numbers were the same, and, and the same with consumers, like, on message boards and whatnot they were posting similar or higher numbers so clearly there's a problem with some of these other motherboards and they need a BIOS update now before everybody's rushing out to judge this Ryzen CPU you have to know that at any launch there's gonna be some bugs there's there's gonna be some things that need to get ironed out now AMD said it would beat a 69k which it does the 1800 beats the 69k as well as the 1700 X and the 1700 now in fact I think all of these chips are pretty much the same I think they're just higher uh you know the uh, 1800x is just guaranteed to clock a little bit higher but you might get a 1700 cpu and you know you get a um the, the uh, silicone lottery and you're able to get a high clock on that uh say 5 gigahertz or 4.9 gigahertz it's possible but just with the higher cpus the 1800x you're just more guaranteed to hit a higher number now uh, it, 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 now, the 1800, the 1700, all of them beat the uh, 69K, the 7700K in productivity, rendering content, and all kinds of stuff like that. So basically, for content creation, it's great. It, it beats Intel's lineup. Now, it falls a little bit short in 1080p gaming. Now, the 1800X, uh, all, like I said, they're all pretty much the same CPU. They all fell short to the uh, 7700K and the 6900K by about 10 frames per second. So yes, 1080p gaming needs some optimization, but Ryzen is new, so once developers start optimizing for all those cores, it will be much improved. And let's be honest, modern games don't take advantage of more than four cores, hence why the i5 is still the most popular CPU for gaming. Now Ryzen is actually competitive with the entire Intel line, beating most of it in rendering and content creation. Now I remember gamers and reviewers were saying i7 is a waste of money for gaming, but now the R7-1700 that reaches 91% of the i7-6900K is trash? I don't know guys, you tell me if there's some media bias. Some of these channels that had very low Ryzen scores are Intel sponsored and they don't tell you that and they should have full disclosure. Other sites just use different motherboards and had some issues with RAM speeds or overclocking the CPU and a simple BIOS update could fix this. Now like I said before, Joker he used a Gigabyte motherboard and he had no issues with RAM speeds or overclocking the CPU. Now his scores were matching or slightly under the top Intel chip. Now I will leave a link in the description below so you can actually click on Joker's review of the Ryzen CPU. Now, is there some media bias? For sure there is, but most of the issues yesterday come down to the motherboard not being a gigabyte or just not having a the latest BIOS update to run Ryzen properly. Now, Lisa Su, which is the AMD CEO, said in a Reddit AMA yesterday that gamers should expect gaming performance to only get better with time as developers have more time with Zen. She went on to note that she expects 1080p performance with Ryzen will see measurable gains down the road road and in future iterations of Zen 2 and Zen 3. So you know it's going to be optimized over in time, it will get better and let's be honest here everybody will be able to afford an 8 core 16 thread CPU. Now this will give developers the reason to optimize for it as it will be the norm. Now Intel had many issues with multi-threading at launch so let's not go crazy here. You know I would wait for drivers to be pushed out from AMD and from vendors. So now the general consensus on the Ryzen CPU is that it's great for productivity, it's great for content creators and that it 
pretty much blows Intel out the water. Now for gaming, the results are not the same. Uh, Intel is getting a little bit better results in some games for gaming and, uh, and the Ryzen CPU matches it on some other benchmarks. Now I have to say it is amazing that we're even talking about AMD CPUs even coming close to matching Intel. And you know, it doesn't have to beat their chip that is twice as powered. Now the smart money here is that if you're uh, a content creator, you know, get the 1800X, get an 1800, you know, you, you have uh, a, a higher chance, you have um, an opportunity to clock that CPU much higher. Now if you're a gamer, I would say take your chances with the 1700 and hopefully you hit the silicone lottery and you're able to overclock that high. But essentially, these are all the same chips, they're just able to be clocked a little bit higher. Anyways, I wanna know what you guys think, so please leave your comments down below. Do you think that there's a lot of Intel media bias out there? Do you think people are just too quick to uh, judge the CPU without waiting for you know further optimization or putting into consideration that, of course, at launch, not everything is gonna run smoothly? So like I said, please leave your comments down below. I ask you guys to like, share, and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys on the next one.